to my first video in the series about carbohydrates and today we're going to look at mono and disaccharides. So carbohydrates are organic compounds and they're made of the three elements, um, carbon, hydrogen and oxygen, hence the phrase carbo um, for carbon and hydrate means to add water and water is made of H2O um, and so you form the word carbohydrate. Um, and there are different types of carbohydrates. Um, you have monosaccharides, you have di and polysaccharides. Now, the two that we're going to look at today are mono and disaccharides. And here you have a couple, um, or you have three um, pictures showing um, the different types. And so monosaccharides, um, these are sometimes known as simple sugars. Um, you can sometimes see the formula for these simple sugars. Um, so for instance, glucose as um, C6, H12 and O6. And so the carbon and the oxygen are in the same proportion and there's double the amount of hydrogen. And so if you think about um, Water, for instance, water has two hydrogens to a single oxygen, and it's the same um, in carbohydrates. You have double the amount of water um, than you do oxygen. Um, they're usually um, white crystalline solids, um, and as monosaccharides, they actually dissolve in water, and they produce sweet tasting solutions, and hence, um, while well, you can put them in liquids, um, and therefore they'll sweeten them. Now probably the most common monosaccharide that you might come across is glucose, um, and specifically alpha-glucose. Um, there's another type of glucose that isn't um, required for the Edexcel um, unit, and that's beta-glucose, but alpha-glucose um, is. And you can see this is a typical diagram showing alpha-glucose. Um, you can also sometimes see it represented as this. Um, and now with alpha-glucose, and like a lot of monosaccharides and disaccharides, they end in the letters O-S-E, and we can usually associate the letters O-S-E on the end of a word, um, meaning sugar. Now on this right diagram, they've numbered the carbons, and if we were to number the corresponding carbons here, um, this would be the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth here. Um, and so this is sometimes called a ring structure. Now a monosaccharide like glucose can go on to form a disaccharide and that's where um, the two monosaccharides join together and to form a disaccharide and in this case what we're showing here is two glucose molecules joining together um, to form another molecule called maltose um, and so what happens is a condensation reaction that's where um, water is produced from this reaction um, and that these two glucoses are then bound um, over this oxygen and so what we've lost there is the water and so we refer to that as a condensation reaction um, and obviously that shows the water being lost um, and this molecule here is the disaccharide maltose now the bond that's um, produced there is called a glycosidic bond um, and glyco um, is similar sounding to um, glycogen which is obviously a polysaccharide which we'll come on to look at later videos but the bond formed between two monosaccharides is called a glycosidic bond um, and it's a condensation, uh, condensation reaction because water is produced. Um, and we sometimes refer to this, particularly in the example of maltose, as a 1 and 4 um, glycosidic bond. And this is due to um, the carbons that are being joined here. So if we look on this left hand one, this would be the carbon 1 for this glucose, and this one here would be carbon 4. And so sometimes it's referred to as a 1 and 4 glycosidic bond. If you join me next time, we'll be looking at some more monosaccharides and disaccharides.